facts are, if a leader doesn't engage their employees, employee engagement, and getting them to understand the purpose of why they're there, and to believe in the purpose, and to buy into it with their heart and their souls, as well as their minds, a leader is not a leader. So that's not gonna change no matter what happens. Leadership training has to be hurled. There are new tools today, whether it be Twitter, whether it be Facebook, more social media, uh, more, if you will, online communication on the run with mobile devices. But those are just techniques to get at the same issue of identifying a strategy, putting a winning team together, driving the execution. That hasn't changed. Speed has changed. The amount of information out there has changed. No longer does the boss have all the information. You've gotta be sure that you're dealing with employees straight off the table and making sure they know everything and making sure that they understand why you're doing something. You fiercely fight to get the very best all the time. You're constantly coaching. You're constantly raising the bar. You're trying to get better and better performance from people. And people that aren't delivering, you ask them to leave. But you don't fire them. You take them out, you explain to them why they don't fit in this particular strategy. And you give them a new job. Meetings, reviews, uh, watching their behavior. Uh, for example, when somebody comes in for an acquisition, I always started out with, no, bad idea. And I wanted to see how they fought back, how, they, how much they cared about it, how much they would work on it, what they would put on the line to deliver it. And you can test people that way, see their commitment to the issue. <laughs> Steve Jobs was obviously a, a winning CEO. Sam Parmesano is without question in my mind the, uh, the best overall CEO of the last several years. But there's, all, there's so many good CEOs now. You can go company by company. I, I don't like to pick out one because there's so many good ones. It used to be you could pick out one or two. But now there's, in a global economy, with pressures coming from everywhere, your, your CEO better be damn good or else you're not gonna have something. Be yourself. Absolutely don't try and be somebody else. One, one of the directors, I had been appointed to the board of directors of GE, and the first board meeting I went in with my white shirt, all of my nice suit, and I acted quietly, and I behaved a certain way, and I was not the chairman then. There were several waiting to be chairman. And the position that, that he took was, Jack, after the first dinner, called me aside and said, let me tell you something. That wasn't you today. Be yourself, which was outspoken, which was saying what you think. I went back to being myself. Don't try and package yourself in some other uniform. <laughs>